Hello everyone, my name is Richard Sanders. This is a PhD criminal justice course, 810B01. I will present to you today an overview of transnational organized crime and terrorism. The instructor slash professor is Dr. E. Hutton. We begin this presentation with a biblical scripture from the Bible of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. The Bible tell us, for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many grief. Many people are tied to making money regardless of the lives it jeopardizes and the impact that it has on the environment. They will go to great lengths to convince themselves and others that what they are doing is not wrong. So the love of money and not the money itself leads to the roots of all kinds of evil as seen with transnational organized crime and terrorism. So to give some insight on this transnational organized crime, I begin with explaining to you about transnational organized crime and terrorism in the United States, which has proven to be a security threat to the economy and to the people's way of life. The following presentation will explain how these international crimes occur. Terrorism is sometimes domestic related as well as global. In contrast, however, transnational organized crime impacts society worldwide because it involves more than one country participating in a structured criminal activity. Some examples of transnational organized crimes are human trafficking, trafficking in firearms, human trafficking, drug trafficking, wildlife, cultural property, counterfeit goods, human smuggling, and many others. Transnational organized crime is tied to organized crime, but not all organized crime is linked to transnational organized crime. Terrorism, on the other hand, has a grueling effect because it causes significant disruption and dysfunction to the way of life of those impacted by its destruction. Terrorism inflict panic and fear overwhelmingly on its victims. At times, those who participate in TOC are involved in acts of terrorism. When this occurs, it becomes an act of terrorism. Nexus. Transnational organized crime, or TOC, is a global threat. The focus, however, is centered on how it affects the United States. TOC involves organized criminal activity in more than one country. Abaganski, 2017. The crimes are diverse, but the acts are illegal and the objective is to achieve wealth. The crimes generate around 800, $870 billion a year, according to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, 2022. Some of these crimes involve, but are not limited to, human trafficking, trafficking in firearms, drug trafficking, wildlife, cultural property, counterfeit goods, and human smuggling, and many more, of course, according to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, 2022. All right, so let's talk about human trafficking since it is tied to transnational organized crime and it does cost the United States lots of money. Human trafficking is a threat to the United States and other countries such as Canada, Mexico, and countries linked to Mexico from Central and South America, Albanese and Rico 2014. The reason being is you, one does not need a ship or boat or any type of vessel to reach the United States when they're trafficking women and primarily children to these to the United States. 
it's just all land one country to another one country to another until you reach the United States human trafficking sex trafficking is a crime against a person it involves forced labor where the victim cannot control their lives because they are sold commodities to the buyers that's COVID 2012 I just want to clarify that human trafficking is sex trafficking but sex trafficking is not human trafficking because sex trafficking does not involve forced labor whereas sex trafficking is dealing primarily with prostitution women um, or, or 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 young men or men being forced into having sexual intercourse human trafficking primarily is dealing with the forced labor where people are working as servitudes they have to where you get your, like a nail salon things of that nature um, people who work on farms for hours and hours a day people who clean homes often as Americans we're part of the problem and not part of the solution we love those type of works that people are doing because no one else want to do them but a lot of people are being exploited exploited when you see them working on farms or in nail salons or in in Chinese um, restaurants things of their nature they're not happy there not not all but some of them are not happy they're forced into that labor so um, we're, we're not conscientious about that we only look at it when it's what we perceive as being evil whereas it is all evil right so victims are forced to have sex with strangers some victims are paid but are exploited in the process as servitudes under contract remember that goes against the Constitution the 13th Amendment you know where one shall not be forcing in any type of servitude or slavery okay 13th Amendment put it into that it is not surprising that human trafficking is referred to as the new modern slave slave our human trafficking involves mainly women and children that's COVID 2012 human trafficking is a violent operation driven by an organization terrorizing its victim I'll try to pronounce this Avin in Amla Kava 2021 human trafficking involves threats kidnapping forced labors exploitation and removal of one's organ to name a few Abdan in Amla Kava 2021 I don't think I'll say this anymore I don't want to keep torturing names I don't think I'm saying it correctly but I will have to say it again after all so according to Avon and Amla Kava 2021 historically belligerent belligerent parties have used sexual violence as a tool to punish terrorize and destroy populations you can find this on page 1581 1581 terrorist groups such as Isis believe they are within their right to spirit to spiritually impose slavery and sexual violence on women as a spiritual faith why does human trafficking exist since it is a global concern human trafficking exists because it is a multi-billion dollar industry human trafficking brings in 99 billion dollars yearly to the criminal enterprise Sorensen 2019 people although not intentionally do not think about the product and goods they purchase at a low price such as seafood clothing vegetables and fruits that are often associated with forced labor to name a few O'Brien 2018 drug trafficking is another way for transnational organized criminals to engage with terrorists it is very lucrative drug trafficking is so common that it has become a way for many countries to strengthen their economy 
at the price of destroying lives. For example, the legalization of marijuana in many countries is not uncommon, whereas it was not acceptable in the past. The side effects of marijuana did not change, but the lust for money and greed has changed. Money remains, marijuana remains a dangerous drug for people when not appropriately prescribed. The side effects of marijuana include violent behavior. Marijuana causes memory loss, psychosis, personality changes, cardiovascular disease, and paranoia, to name a few. Miller and all, 2020. These side effects are amp when the user consumes the drug frequently. Miller and all, 2020. Transnational organized crime is a convenient way of supporting and funding terrorist groups. Those tied to TLC crimes are not concerned with how they earn money or the impact it has on the lives of others. It is critical to understand the objective of terrorist groups. Terrorist acts can be domestic related or international. Terrorists aim to achieve their tasks by any means. Terrorists are non-state actors who seek to intimidate or impose unwanted illegal force by extreme violence to overtake a social goal. Terrorists and TLC criminals have similar interests except for one, that is terrorism imposes an immediate threat and destroy lives Transnational organized crime kills, but it is much more difficult to know immediately until law enforcement and crime statistics are gathered. Research shows annually that many lives are lost as a result of organized crime that stems from people succumbing to drug health problems, violence from guns, and human trafficking. This is a slide reference. The last two references. And see, I don't know how many there are, but there, there's, there's, well, eight or 10. Thank you and hope you enjoy this presentation.